One of my favorite tools to view final Gerbers is the Gerb V program. It's my go-to for doing final checks on any printed circuit board I might be designing. I'm not going to go into any details on how to install it. Everything is included in the link below, so feel free to check that out. To open it up, I'm going to hit Gerb V, and we have the program here. I'm going to go to File and Open Layers. And I'm going to go to this example file. I got a production files and Gerber. So I'm going to open up all the items that begin with G. So here is the design. If I take away some of the layers, you can kind of figure out what's what. Playing around with the layers, you can see that I have the paste layer and I have the solder mask layer. So you can see what the paste is going to look like on the pads. Everything else is pretty standard here. This is the silk screen for the top, I believe. Yep. This is the actual copper layer. So this is what the connections are gonna be made out of. This is a mechanical outline. This is the bottom solder mask, and this is the bottom paste. So you can see everything has paste as expected. Some of these parts have some more interesting paste patterns because they have some pads on the bottom. This guy is a most likely maybe a QFN, so it has again paste on the bottom and the bottom outlines for the bottom silk screen and the bottom layer. So you, one thing you can do is you can kind of move these around and you can put them on top of the other ones. So if you want to make sure that the layers are stacking up correctly, you can do that. I'll often look at footprints. And I'll make sure that they have the right solder mask and they have the right solder paste. Without the right solder mask, your component's not going to solder to the board. Without the right solder paste, you're going to have no solder paste applied to the board during print circuit board assembly. And it's not going to be connected either. So both of those are very important. And you can't miss them. For navigating the de design, one thing you guys can't see is what I'm doing with the mouse. So I'm using the middle mouse button here to do some zooming. And dragging around so I can click down on the mouse middle mouse button I can drag around the design uh, right clicking will get me some information but most of the time I'm just using the, the left mouse button some tools here that you might want to use in the future I've got some select I got the move got the zoom but also we have a measurement tool so you can go from here to here and get a quick measurement of how long that is measurement displays down below I am a millimeter fan, so things are going to be in millimeters, 38.251. Another thing you can do with GERB-V is actually look at the silk screen plus the solder mask layer to make sure there's no silk screen overlay in the, on the solder mask. A lot of the times, companies will provide some type of check to make sure and prevent this from happening, but some companies just don't have the capabilities. So it's up to you to make sure that your silk screen does not overlay on your solder mask. So if I look at here, we have the solder mask here, and then I have the outline. So put this guy over here, and you shouldn't see much outlines. So right here, if I were using maybe a low-cost vendor that does not check for this and does not ch change your Gerbers, this would be a problem. Because what would happen is when they're putting the stencil on the board and they're putting down the silk screen, the silk screen is going to overlay on that pad. It's going to be hard for them to solder to that pad. Again, most vendors these days have some checks in place to prevent that from happening, but some don't. Gervy is an extremely handy tool for viewing our files for final checks and when you're doing debugging or just trying to remember how a certain trace runs in a design. It should be a tool in the pocket of anyone who designs circuit boards. So I hope you find this video useful. I really appreciate for you to take the time to actually watch it. Uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button while you're here and hit that like button if you found it useful. I'm looking forward to making more videos for you guys in the future, so stay tuned and thanks for watching.